I'm going to introduce you to Orgchart Creator, a new add-in for PowerPoint. Now normally, if you want to create an organization chart within PowerPoint, you would start by coming to the Insert tab, clicking Smart Art, selecting Hierarchy and the Organization Chart. From there, you start laboriously entering in the names of your employees, their titles, and any other information which you want to put in. And then you have to add additional people into the organization chart as you go along. This process is very time consuming, especially for large organizations. These organizations usually have the data of their employees stored within Excel files. So OrgChart, the new tab within the ribbon, provides you with a way to insert the data from an Excel chart and build your organization chart in PowerPoint directly. I've got a test file here called My Fake Company. The data in that file is shown here. What we've got is the employee's name, their position, their boss, whether they're an assistant or not, and then some additional information about the performance of that employee. So this is optional information. What we really need to create the organization is the name, their boss, and their position. So I'm going to select this file. PowerPoint is going to open up that file and interrogate it, firstly finding the number of sheets which are in there. So you can split your organization down into manageable sections and insert org charts on a per sheet basis. You then simply match the corresponding column from the Excel file to the field which is going to be used in PowerPoint to create the organization. This has already picked up all of the relevant fields and matched it automatically, so there are no changes required. Then I can select whether all of this information or just some of it should be included in the text boxes which are built in the organization chart. So I simply click OK now, and that inserts the organization chart, built it automatically using the hierarchy which was specified in that organization file. This is a very plain view of the formatting. We have an automatic formatting button, which can simply be clicked once to create a much more pleasing and more easily readable view of the organization. We can then drill down further. So there's a, a handy select all button if you want to use that and use the standard formatting tools which are available within PowerPoint. But what these don't allow you to do is to individually select all of the different elements. So if I wanted to make all of the, the names bold, I would have to do each one individually. So this is where org chart creator really comes into its own. So I can select the first line, which is quite often the employee's name, the second line, which is normally the position or job title, and then the other lines afterwards. And then selecting those, I can use these formatting tools to change the uh, the format of those those elements with one click for all boxes all at once. So let's say I want the the names of the people to be slightly larger. You can see them all increasing in all of the boxes. I might want those to be in bold and I might want to change the case so that the surname is in uppercase. For the other lines, maybe I want them right justified, centered or left justified. For the job title, I'm going to make it centre justified. Again, I'm going to increase the font a little bit and you can see if there are any large or long job titles that they may or may not wrap and you can bring the point size back down again so that they all fit at the same font size across the whole of the organisation chart. Finally, the Select All button allows me to select all of those and I need to just pull them stretch them out a little bit so that the information fits in just perfectly and there we go an organization chart created very very quickly in just a few minutes org chart creator will be available to download from upresent.co.uk once it's commercially released and that's expected to be within february 2018